offense did pretty well. You were pretty satisfied. And, of course, the man behind it all, Darren Slack. Well, Darren Slack had one of the best games he's had here. I'd say that this game, other than the Murray State game last year, is probably the best game he's had. And a lot of people don't know he had 11 stitches in his chin last night. Uh, this was a very physical game. You'll see right there. You couldn't really see, but he took a big hit there. And he's going to take several other shots. So uh, we were really proud of his performance last night. As, as, we a, take, as we take a look at him completing some passes, I can ask you about the offensive line that, of course, was one of your worries. How do you think they did last night? Well, we still have some holes to fill in the offensive line. I'm not, uh, not pleased with their overall play yet, but uh, in the pass protection was probably, uh, I'd say, better than we anticipated that it would be. Okay, I believe this is, uh, you saw the pass just a second ago to Arnell, sponsor, uh, Arnell Spencer that made it 7-3. to three. And you, Darren had 208 yards passing last night. Pretty good performance, you think? I think he did very well. Uh, he, he did so well that uh, we won the game. You know, 9 for 24 is not too bad, especially when you play against a real physical team like Bethune Cookman. You'll see him a lot of times take hits that some people wouldn't even get up from. And now we're now, this is Bernard Ford. Uh, Bernard Ford uh, had another great game for us. A lot of people don't realize this about Bernard. He and then another receiver that we're going to take a look at in a minute are very versatile athletes. Bernard was a quarterback in high school. He's a very good punter, can throw the ball very well. He had a nice kickoff return there. Here's another play of the same kickoff return. Uh, Bernard will break some kickoff returns for us before this year is out. But I think his versatility, he's a dangerous person on the reverse for us, dangerous pass receiver, a dangerous pass thrower on the reverse and on the punt, and also uh, can punt the football very well. So we're happy with him, and uh, we're going to have his, uh, take the opportunity to get the ball in his hands as many times as we can during the course of this season. Well, if there is any doubt in anyone's mind about how this guy catches the ball, I think you can take a look right here at some of these catches. Unbelievable. And here is the fake punt and Bernard up with the pass there. And Sean Beckton did a great job of fielding the pass, and uh, we're real happy about that. This was a big play for us. It set up the field goal that enabled us to go up 10-3. to 3. And, of course, that's a big momentum getter for us. Of course, it was one of those magical tricks. And you guys work on those quite a bit, don't you? Oh, sure. We work in practice uh, every day on all the special plays that we have. All right. Take a look at this is a pass late in the game that uh, actually set up that final touchdown on the fake field goal. That's right. That was a very crucial time during the game. The game was still up for grabs at this point. You can see the pressure that Darren was under when he let the ball go there. And uh, that's one of the reasons why we're so proud of the way Darren played. There was a lot of heat on him, and he threw under pressure and put the ball right on the money, as you can see. Another man you have to be pleasantly surprised with or pleased with, Arnell Spencer last night. Well, Arnell, as we said, is very versatile. As you saw on that play, he ran a sweep from tailback. He's not a tailback. He's a wide receiver. This is the play that really uh, put us in position to win the game. We're late in, late in the second quarter. We throw a takeoff to Arnell. He puts a great move on the man coverage cornerback there. Darren puts the money right on the money. Arnell's got great hands. I've said all along I thought he had maybe the best hands on the team, but uh, the way Bernard's been catching the ball lately, I think it's maybe a toss-up between the two of them. And here you see uh, Arnell running the reverse. Again, we mentioned the versatility of this athlete. That particular play was our first, uh, first play of the, of the game. We were backed up on our 10-yard line. And he gets about 10 yards for a first down, which was got us out of the hole. So that was really important. Now, if our offensive line can come along and give us the opportunity to use these great skilled players that we've got, we'll have a pretty good offense before the year's out. The main thing I was happy with with our offense was that they did not have a lot of offensive penalties. Now we're talking about uh, Perry Belasis, number 27. Uh, this was some hard-fought yardage right here. He got about five yards when there wasn't a whole lot of blocking. Here he gets another three or four. And you can see what a hard runner he is. He takes some shots. You can see one right there, and that doesn't, doesn't seem to phase him a bit. Well, one of the interesting things about Perry that a lot of people don't know, here's a freshman who was uh, a linebacker in high school. Right? That's true. He was the defensive player of the year in Palm, in Palm Beach County. Uh, and uh, we just decided we had to have a fullback to fill a void that we had there, so we took what we consider to be the most versatile athlete with the body size and so forth that we needed. Now, this was a fake field goal that we ran really to seal the fate of the ball game. Oh, what a it's a little uh, shuffle pass that we used to the wing back, and, of course, he broke three tackles when he got just when he got the football. And if you've got so many versatile players, that's uh, Arnell Spencer making a little toss right there, isn't it? Well, I tell you, Arnell, again, uh, made a great contribution in the game. And as you can see, uh, we mentioned Sean Beckton earlier, a freshman, and here Perry Belasis. We had uh, the Stickler, both the Stickler, Stickler twins from Bradenton, 
played a lot at offensive guard and tackle, so we had a lot of freshmen that helped us a lot in this game. Yeah.